TTH TV, we are squeezing in not one, but two shoe reviews before Christmas. Um, so just in time for that January weather coming in. This is the Under Armour Storm range, which is their like winter water resistant um, range. It's clothing and also shoes, but today we are on shoes. So we've got two, we have the Sonic 4 Storm and also the Infinite 3 Storm to talk through. So we've got two different soles, two different uppers and two kind of different run feels to go through today. So we're gonna start with the Sonic 4 Storm. So to give you an idea of where we're starting with this shoe, it is the base um, of a Sonic. So our previous shoes that we've run in, um, this uh, Pride version of the Sonic um, has that kind of similar um, sole. So in case you've ever run in that, this is what this kind of is, uh, the, the base DNA of this shoe going forward, if that helps to jog your memory um, at all. So what I'm really, really enjoying about this shoe is how flexible this upper is. With, with waterproof shoes, I always feel like they come with a, quite a bit of stiffness. Um, and this is so soft um, and flexible and really just kind of wraps around the foot, which I wasn't expecting um, from a water resistant shoe. So this, yeah, gray and white section here is the um, UA Storm Repellent Upper, um, which is great. It just stops, you know, like when you're running along and you just keep flicking water on top of your shoe and you get really soggy toes. And if you're out on, for shorter runs, I feel like it's not necessarily as bad because you're back in in the dry and you don't get that time to get really, really chilled. But when you are out on a longer run and your feet have got wet early on, that can, it just makes the rest of the run really miserable and or makes you stop much earlier than you should have. So having dry feet is really great. And also on a non um, lazy side, I guess, um, it's obviously when your feet get wet as well, you're more prone to have um, blisters and stuff because you might have friction. And so it also helps you reduce of getting blisters. The other thing that really is wonderful, I've actually tried to tie these up so they look a bit easier on, on the eye on camera, otherwise I've got shoelaces flying everywhere. But they have easy to cinch toggles is what they're referred to but it's this lacing system here um which is supposed to then make it really easy to tie when you've got like cold wet fingers um and that it really does i feel like with a lot of running shoes sometimes like they're really difficult um to tighten i don't know if i can now show this on camera but literally if you just pull like it just tightens so easily like that and you're in and it's so quick um, so yeah, if you've got cold, wet fingers, really, really easy and quick to lace as well. And as always, coming back to the sole quickly, it has got the um, Under Armour Hover in it, which is great at giving back um, energy and propelling you forwards. And then we turn it over to the sole. Um, it's really high grip. You can literally feel that by gripping it just with your fingers. Like it's really, um, really tactile, um, really good high abrasion rubber sole. So it's gonna give you good traction. Um, on those wet pavements. The only slight downside I have in these is that I have very narrow feet um, and I am on the smallest kind of setting for how tight you can tie these shoes. Um, saying that I get absolutely no slip though because there's a really nice um, lug at the back. I'll do a nice little close up shot for you there, which really, really locks in your heels. So I don't feel like I'm coming out of them, but I just do feel like I'm on the, the closest setting. So if you do have very, very, very narrow feet, um, I would say try just to see um, how that fit is across the top for you. Um, but as I said, mine are pretty narrow and I'm still not getting any slippage. So it's more of a, a visual thing, I guess, then, <laughs> than when it's on like the smaller setting. They also connect to map my run, like all of the Under Armour shoes. Um, so you can have a look at your cadence and all those stats, um, which is really, really cool and very exciting. Um, it is an eight millimeter drop shoe, uh, which is actually the same as the one coming up as well. Um, and is around 100, sorry, 230 grams. So yeah, that is the Sonic 4 Storm. And next up onto the Infinite 3 Storm. Um, and again, to give you a visual reference, like this um, is an infinite, uh, which if you have seen us running around at these, that is the similar kind of sole that we're going with for the like base makeup of the shoe, but in the winter water repellent range. So that's what we're going with the sole on there. So obviously again, it's got the um, UA hover um, cushioning in it, which gives you great energy return and really gives you that like propel forward motion that you really feel like you're bouncing along in them. Same with the sole, sorry, kind of a bit muddy. Um, really great um, traction, um, same as the first pair. Um, you really, really feel like you're gripping to the floor even when you're running through puddles and on that kind of, then like, actually I feel like puddles, you know you're gonna maybe fall so that like, you kind of prepare yourself. 
it's the corners where it's just that like greasy wet but you do really feel like you're stuck to the floor in a good way <laughs> uh, in both these shoes really really great traction on the soles so this one steps it up a level on the water resistance <laughs> great English there Emily um because you've actually got two layers of water repellent material um here uh, which is offering you a little bit more so maybe you know if it's really really chucking it down you're gonna offer these uh, over the sonic fours when I first saw these, not gonna lie, I saw the zip and I was like, oh, don't know how I feel about that. But one, once they're on, because it looks a bit funny when it's um, off, they look really, really um, smart actually. And you feel really locked in. Um, and yeah, you just like, it's nice they're not having wet laces. You've got this zip um, outer layer and then you have a laced inner. Again, sorry, I tied these up so they looked like smart on camera, but I'm now realizing that was a dumb idea. Um, so you've got still that looping system on the inside. I would say these are a little bit harder to do up just because you've got slightly more of a, um, it's like squash space to have to lace them, but saying that they are still very easy to lace. So obviously, yeah, you lace those up, you tie that in a bow, you, which I can't now do with one hand, you tuck your bow in the middle there, and then you would just zip this shut. I find, as I said, my one negative with those is that I felt like I was in the closest setting I feel like these fit a much narrower foot um, altogether. It's not hard for me to zip up, so saying that if you have a bigger foot, I feel like there is space, um, but they're just, yeah, I feel like I got a tiny bit more hug in these in comparison to those, but then that's also preference. I type like a quite tightly laced shoe. Um, again, to help you lock in, it does have like a little bit of a lip, like at the back to really lock down into the heel. Very different to the back of um, these. I'm just gonna bring them back in actually. They've got such a thin top and then like a lump of a lug to hold in your ankle. Whereas in the Infinite 3, you have a much higher cushioned heel, um, which is really, really, really comfortable. Um, so that's also quite a big difference between the shoe, two shoes. Going back into the upper, I was thinking with these waterproof layers, I'd feel like I had really sweaty feet. I'm a very sweaty runner. <laughs> A very sweaty feet, nice overshare for you there. Um, but it's not, it's actually really breathable um, and you don't feel like, yeah, you're getting steamy toes, um, which is nice. These also have UA reactor insulation, which is really cool. So supposedly as you speed up, they will help cool down your feet and as you slow down, they'll help keep them warm. Um, I've kind of just done some my slow sessions in these. So personally, I haven't really put that to the test yet, but some really cool technology um, in there. And again, obviously they connect to map my run as well, which is always great. And as I mentioned, eight mil drop, same as the other pair. This pair are a little bit heavier, which would be expected, obviously, so you've got more upper going on and a bit more of a sole. So these come in about 240 grams. I guess final question is, what do I wear and when? Um, I personally enjoy the run feel more of the Sonic 4 Storm. Um, it just feel, it does feel like a lighter shoe. Um, for me and that tends to actually what I've been wearing for uh, like we are runners and stuff in the evening when I just want to pull it on I know I'm going to be running like five to seven k and um, through puddles at a nice chatty pace um keeping my feet lovely and warm and just feeling like a really easy um, lovely run um with these they're still a great shoe I just felt they feel a little bit heavier for me I do like a really minimal shoe but that's preference um so don't let that put put you off if you do prefer like a higher cushion shoe then I feel like this provides that for you this infinite three storm um however if it is really tipping it down and there's lots of puddles out I will opt for this because it just gives you that little bit more water resistance um as well for easy miles and for long miles either of these shoes um are really great hopefully that helps you decide between the two if I haven't answered your question or it's opened a new question in your mind about either shoe um please pop a message in the comments below this video or reach out to us on instagram it's just at twice the health keep your feet dry stay running over christmas and hopefully january weather isn't too disgusting but if it is we're prepared <laughs> see you back here soon